Hello everybody, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone Tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'll show you how to make an N for one or X for one trade shop for your survival world or realm. With the N for one trade shop, what this allows us to do is sell items in our store for set prices. For example, I have a shulker box of four diamonds each, and over here I have a Lytra for ten diamonds each. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. All we do is open up the chest. There is our payment for diamonds. We place that in. That is going to filter through. And after that goes through, we should see a shulker box popping up right there. Now let's go ahead and get our elytra. So let's say we place in five diamonds. That is going to make its way down. And that is not going to do a thing because we do have this set up to be a payment of ten diamonds. So let's go ahead and place in the next five. We place in the next five. And then we wait just a moment. And then we will see the elytra pop up right here. So there's the elytra, and that is how this shop works. To make this end for one trade shop, you are going to need a 3x6 area. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. And there we go, there are all the supplies we'll need for today's build. So what we have are 7 hoppers, 4 comparators, 3 repeaters, 2 redstone torches, 7 redstone dust, 3 chests, or you can opt for barrels, 1 dropper, your building blocks, 2 stair blocks, your item for payment, in this case we'll be using a diamond, 21 named items for your payment system, a stack of junk items, and then an item frame to show off what you're selling. With that being said, if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that, grab your supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. To get things started, what we're going to do is place in the payment system. So go ahead and grab your chest, come to the bottom left corner, place down your chest. Now go ahead, grab your hoppers, crouch place a hopper into the side of the chest, hopper into this hopper, get your blocks, come two blocks up like this, temporary block right there, and run a hopper into that temporary block. Remove that, get your comparator, run a comparator out from that block. So what you should have is the hopper facing into the back of the comparator, this hopper running into the bottom one, and then the bottom hopper running into the chest. Now go ahead and grab your blocks once again, place two blocks like this, redstone dust on top, redstone torch, and then one more block against the middle hopper. Go ahead and place down redstone dust right there. So that will lock this hopper right here, and now what we can do is place in our payment. So go ahead, grab your 21 named items, and disperse them like this. Get your payment, and place it right there. So that is all set up, and if we place a chest right here, we can place in a payment like that, and then that will filter through into the collection system down below. Next, what we're going to do is set up the system to determine how many items we would like the customer to pay. So to do that, let's go ahead and grab a block, and right under this one with our comparator, place a temporary block right there, a hopper running into that block, remove that, and then run a hopper into that hopper there so they are facing each other. Now go ahead and grab your comparators, and then what we want to do is run comparators out from both hoppers, like this. Just like that. And then we're going to repeat the same process with the hoppers, so temporary block here, a hopper, remove it, and then a hopper going into that hopper right there. Now for the comparator on this one, what we're going to do is run a comparator out from the left one only, like this. Block right there. Redstone torch. Repeater. That will turn on, block right there, and this will lock this hopper right here. One more repeater, and then run that into a block. And then, like this one, this will lock this hopper up right here. And then finally, what we need to do is place redstone dust on top of this hopper. So that is the circuit all set up. Now what we're going to do is place in our junk items. Now, in this first set of hoppers right here, this determines how many items we want the customer to pay. So, go ahead and open up this hopper, and let's say for this example we want them to pay 4, we would place in 4. And the items are going to stay in this hopper because we do have it locked with this redstone dust right here. That is going to give us a redstone output like you see. And then, in this set of hoppers, go ahead and place one item right there. And this is also going to stay put because we do have this redstone input going into here, locking this hopper up. And there we go. Now we will get into the mechanics of this after we finish the build. 
Next, what we need to do is set up the circuit that is going to dispense our item. So go ahead and grab your blocks, and above this redstone torch, place down a block right there. Three more over. A block up like this. Get your dropper, and place your dropper facing up right there. Now, we do have a couple options here. What we can do, like you saw in the beginning, is make a double chest like this. Or you can do two separate chests by placing them in this direction. So you keep your payment and your item being dispensed separate. And of course, if you do have barrels, you can also opt for barrels also. So there are a few different things you could do with this, but let's go ahead and go with the double chest for now. Now, as far as the redstone goes, all we need to do is swing around over here. Redstone dust like this. This will turn on because of the redstone torch down below. And then a repeater running into this block. So everything is all set. And if we go ahead and place in the item we want to sell, in this case a shulker box, let's do that. We can go ahead and give this a test. So again, we did set this to be four. So we place in our four diamonds. The redstone is going to do its thing. It's going to turn back on and dispense our shulker box into the chest right there. And finally, it's time to decorate. So all we do is place our floor in right here like this. A block against the chest. A block up. Item frame with the item that we're selling and then two stairs upside down. So if you are using barrels, you don't need upside down stairs, you can just use the blocks, that's fine. But if you are using a chest, then you will need two stairs upside down like that. And there we go, that is the build all finished. Now that the build is all done, I will try my best to explain how the redstone down below works. So I'm gonna warn you in advance, it will be a bit confusing. So right now, this hopper is locked due to the redstone dust, and that is keeping the items right there. So again, we want them to pay four diamonds, so we have four items. If we want them to pay ten, it would be ten. Now, if we place in a payment, you can see the redstone quickly shut off, and let's place in one more. So the redstone will turn off, and what that does is allow the items to move over to this side. Now, they're going to stay over here because, remember, we do have them locked with these blocks right here. So this hopper and this hopper are being locked. Now, if we place in one more, still nothing is going to happen. It did let one more item go over. Now, this is where it gets a little complicated. Once we place in that last diamond, this last item will go over to here. Now, remember, we do have a redstone output from here with this item. So, at the moment, this is locking this hopper with the one item. Once it leaves and goes over to this side, this will turn off, allowing this item to flow over into this side. And then that will be detected by this comparator here. And that will invert the redstone torch, turn everything off, and allow the items to come back over. So, remember, we do have, or we are going to have all four items. So, we are going to keep a redstone output here, keeping this item locked over on this side. And again, I know it's a little confusing, but bear with me. So these are going to completely empty over back over to this side and fill it back up to four. Once this side empties, it releases this item back over to this side. And because we do have items over here, it's going to keep it locked. Hopefully that made sense. So if we place in the last item... Everything does its thing, and it happens very quickly. It's already back over, and then if we take a look in the chest, there is the shulker box right there. And there you have everyone, an N for one or X for one trade shop for Bedrock Edition. This is the end of today's redstone tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I will see you later.